In this step, we're going to improve the look of the material that we've created by manipulating the roughness value. So as I said in the previous video, the, the problem with the material as it stands is that it's too shiny. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to dial up the roughness and that's going to make this look better. So in order to do that, we need to move back into our practice material. So here's mine here. So I'm just going to double click to make sure it's open. Uh, and I don't think I showed you this in the previous step, but what I like to do, especially when I'm working between the material editor and the level editor, is you can grab any one of these tabs up here and you can tear it away and then you can dock it again. So that will dock it next to the, uh, the level editor, which can make it a little bit easier to work with. So we're going to go back into the material editor and we're going to add a roughness value to this material. So you can see there is a roughness input just here, but we've got nothing going in there at the moment. Uh, and before we put something in there, I'm just going to give you a quick explanation of how roughness works in Unreal Engine. So it works on a scale from zero to one, with zero being very shiny and one being really rough. So what we need to do is get a number and plug it into that. So this time what we'll do is we're going to right click somewhere in the graph here. I'm going to start typing const and we'll want, the one we're looking for is called constant. So I'll give that a little clickety click. There it is. And then I think I'll just place that here. I'm going to plug that straight into the roughness. So that's already connected up now. But we need to give it a value. So as it stands, it's set to zero, which means that the material will be exactly the same as it was before we did this. So over here in the details panel, we need to put a value in. So we need to state what this number is going to be. And the number can be anything. If I wanted to set it to 17, I could, but that wouldn't have much of an effect because roughness only goes up to one. So I know that I do want it to be much rougher. You can see up here, this little highlight there showing that it's quite shiny. So I'm going to set it to about 0 0.75. So about 75% rough would be a way of looking at that. I'll press enter. You'll see now that this should update. And now that highlight's gone, it's a much rougher material. So to see the effect that this has on the landscape, we need to save it. And then we'll just wait for that to happen. Oh, there we go. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Right. And then we'll go back into the level and you can see it just updated there as I flicked over. And now this looks much better. So these highlights, there's still a little bit of shininess to it as there should be. Actually, if you look at, um, a hillside with grass on it. Grass is actually quite a shiny thing to look at. So there, sh there should be something there, um, but not to the degree that we had it previously. Right, so that wraps up this step. We've managed to get some roughness into the material and it's starting to look better, but it still looks flat green, which if you're going for that style would be okay, but we want it to look a little bit more realistic. So in the next step, we're gonna start looking at digital textures. So like a digital image and bring that in instead of the flat color that we've got and that will make it start looking much nicer. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your learning further, I recommend an introduction to Unreal Engine 4 by Andrew Sanders and Unreal Engine 4 Game Development Essentials by Satish PV. Check them out using the links in the video description below. Special thanks to my awesome patrons whose names are displayed on screen for supporting this video. If you'd also like to support my channel, then go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.